Hey there, Melamina here. Welcome back to my bikini competition journey. I am at the um, Phoenix airport on my way home. You're good. Uh, and the plane just arrived, so I think we probably have about 20 or 30 minutes before we board. But um, just wanted to give another quick update. My um, my dad is doing much better. He um, looks like a whole new person now that, I mean, between the time that I got there and the time that I was leaving. It was a tough weekend for him. He really went through a lot, but um, man, he's, he's looking a lot better and he's got a lot of, um, a lot of new doctors, a pulmonologist now, a nephrologist, um, um, a couple other people who are, are now on his um, medical team, so that's awesome. Still working on getting him moved over to a facility where they can take um, a little bit better care of him, uh, looking at an, a skilled nursing facility, so working on that. Hopefully that comes through soon. But um, yeah, he made a lot of really great progress. I'm super happy for him and proud of him. Um, as far as the um, possible um, cancer scare, we're good. Uh, that was just edema, so just some swelling, which is out throughout his whole body anyways, so yay. Um, no, no other extra worse issues going on there, so yay. Mm, sorry for all the announcements and stuff. I hope this video works out. Um, I really just wanted to hop on here because I'm feeling super, super frustrated. I'm fucking starving. I ate a couple of um, leftover things that I had, you know, just like the rest of it um, that I had purchased uh, at the beginning of my trip and I didn't want to waste it so I kind of made it into breakfast and I don't know, lunch or a second meal earlier this morning and so I ate that but I had a big break in between those and another break in between that and eating at the airport and um, of course I mean I did my best to try to pick something healthy at the airport so I chose um, shredded chicken tacos on corn tortillas and no guacamole, no um, cheese, tried to keep it kind of down to the bare minimum and still hungry. Um, also grabbed a bag of unsalted nuts and had just one serving of that, but dude, I am ravenous. It is so difficult to travel, like on actual travel days, and and hit macros. God forbid micros. Like forget it. You're just you're just not. Just let go of the micros because it's just not happening. The whole world just pours salt into everything, so that's just shot. Um, but yeah, just feeling insanely frustrated over um, how hungry I am, and then now, of course, like I blew out my. Well, I hit the. Um, the carbs so I'm under on fat and I'm under on protein still so I mean I've got room for that but that means basically chicken like that's it I get to have some chicken and maybe throw a little bit of guacamole on it and that's it and like all I want is to eat something that I'm going to actually enjoy and at this point like I'm so frustrated all I feel like is Food is just nourishment to kind of keep your body alive, and God forbid that you actually enjoy it. Like, I'm so mad right now. Um, I am this close to just hitting up my favorite taco shop. Shout out to Benny's. Um, when I get home, I've already had a cheat meal for last week, um, and I'm planning on one this Saturday because we had plans that were made months ago, and so um, I was planning on that. So if I if I decide to go the bad route, that means I will have two cheat meals in one week. So I don't know, you guys, I'm kind of losing it. Uh, and I, I guess the good news is I have an hour plane ride to decide what it is that I'm going to do. So anyways, um, sorry about all the announcements, covering up a bunch of stuff that I was saying, but just wanted to share this kind of in the moment. Um, maybe I should have gone live, but whatever, just trying to share this in the moment. And, um, yeah, I mean, this journey is not all fun and games. Sometimes <laughs> it really becomes a pain in the ass. So um, good news about my dad. Not so great news about eating. But 
we forge forward. All right, thanks, and um, thanks for being on this journey with me, and I will catch you next time. Bye.